Okay, hello everybody, it is Mark here from ObviouslyTech.com, slapping you in the face with a tutorial. Finally, I've been waiting for ages to do this, and as you know, we've had technical problems, we've had school, study, life, all that jazz. And um, yeah, so finally back, as you can hear, isn't this lovely? And it just stops, as I want to show you. Um, yes, my laptop is slowly dying, so you will hear it uh, cool itself down probably through every second of this tutorial with its giantly noisy fan but um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a 1080p rendering template so basically how to render your videos in 1080p which is HD quality and uh, yeah it's very it's simple once you follow the steps and all the details will be in the description also so you can do that and also if you want to follow me through my exams and see me it's, you know absolutely just be scared out of my Boots, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I have a Twitter, you can follow that down below, but you know, that's your own business if you want to and if you don't. Anyway, so what we're doing today, as I said, 1080p. So the first thing we're going to do is you can go into File and New if you're creating a new project. If you're in a project already, what you want to do is you want to edit your, ori your properties of your original project. So you can click Alt or Enter or click this little Properties uh, button up here at the top left of your screen. It's also over the preview right there. Pop that and your settings for your current project are going to come up. Now, you want to change them to the settings I have on screen here. So, I think they're alright anyway, I'll change them if they're not. So, width 1920, height 1080, uh, field order should be none, pixel aspect ratio 1, uh, output rotation 0, that should be at 0. Anyway, frame rate up to 30, okay, you can just simply type that in yourself. Uh, no 3D, 8-bit uh, pixel uh, format is on, then this should this is at good, so you're going to move that up to best, the full resolution rendering quality, because we want the best. We're going to leave the Gaussian blur there for the motion type. Um, no uh, deinterlace method, uh, I think mine was on blend, but uh, none anyway, make sure it's on none. And if you want to start all your projects with these settings, you can tick this little button here. So each time you go to File New, you're going to start off with 1080p, uh, this setting here. Also, you want to go over to Audio and put your sample rate for about 48,000 on this drop-down menu. Uh, 48,000 hertz. And uh, yeah, that's all you have to do there. And again, you see the little Start on New Project with these settings button there. You're going to click Apply. And um, if you want to, you can come up here and click, you know, uh, Custom. 1080p render uh, properties or whatever you want click that floppy and that will save it there and uh, if you go on the drop down then down the bottom you can see custom 1080p render properties bam click that there you go apply bam there you go now the next thing you want to do edit your project put in all your fancy effects and all your sexy editing that I've taught you about to do and uh, then we're going to render it so before we render it we're going to go file save as make sure you save your project so you can come back and edit it later then file render as, and this is where the magic happens, right? So when my computer loads and stops being, a uh, okay, as we can see here, the render as box has popped up here. Now what you want to do first of all is you want to maneuver yourself over to Windows Media Video version 11. That is my preferred rendering type. Uh, I just get along well, you know. We go, we're a good couple, right? So we're going to open that up, and as you can see, there are are already presets here. You might not have all of them, this is uh, Pro 11, but uh, you will have some presets, okay? So as you can see, I've got my custom ones down here, and we're going to be showing you how to make these. So what you need to do is you need to open up, um, basically, any one here. You click on any one and click Customize. But if you can, uh, if you have this here, the 8 megabytes per second HD 1080, um, 30 frames per second video uh, template here, you're going to click that and click Customize. And this box is going to pop up and the reason being is that this these settings are actually very similar to the ones I'm going to be showing you with a few things we're going to change. Right, so when that box is up, what you want to do is you want to put in the audio mode for CBR, the Windows Media Audio 9.2 for the format, and then the attributes is 192, 48, stereo, CBR, okay? So you're going to find that on the list, 192, 48, stereo, CBR. That's it, audio, very simple. Moving on to the video tab. Now we're going to say CBR, click CBR. Okay, make sure this is on CBR, because if it's not, you're gonna encounter problems with what I'm doing in the next step, and people always have it, so CBR please, or else I'm gonna kill you. I won't actually, but still please, you know, CBR. Uh, format Windows Media Video 9, thank you very much. Uh, image size custom, okay. 
I'm going to put in again width 1920, height 1080, pixel aspect ratio is going to stick at 1, frames per second is going to be 30, and then um, as you can see here, video smoothness is at 85 here. You can bring it up to 100 for the maximum smoothness of your video, you know, the best quality. However, I go for about a compromise of 85 to 90. You're still going to get great quality and uh, it's going to reduce the file size a small bit by using this smaller um, video smoothness level. And we're also going to see this in a bitrate in one second. So once you've got these down, as I said, you can find these uh, settings in the description if you can't follow with the video or pause it and uh, do your own stuff, you know, whatever. Um, and then moving on to the bitrate tab. Now, we're going to want to make sure internet slash LAN is ticked and we're going to keep it around 5M, okay? Or maybe reduce it in a second, I'll tell you why. First, I'm going to jump back in a second. If you can't do this, okay, if your box is grayed out, okay, and when you tick it, it doesn't work, you need to come back to video and make sure CBR is ticked, okay? Mo video mode, CBR, uh, audio mode should also be on CBR there. Um, but make sure your video mode is on CBR for this to work, because if it's not, it's not going to work, as I said. Bitrate, now, um, 5M is good. I usually go for about 3M, uh, that's two, Mark, okay. I usually go for about 3M because this gives you good quality you know, it's not the best quality, but it's not too noticeable that you've degraded down. Um, 3 gives you nice quality with not too big a file size compared to 5, 6, 7 or 8. A good compromise probably would be maybe 5, 6 or 7. You're going to have great quality, but uh, your file size is going to be bigger. So if you have slower internet and you're uploading it, that's going to, going to be a bit of a hassle. Now, index slash summary, you can fill that in if you want, you really don't need my help. This is optional if you want to put in title, description, uh, rating, all that stuff. And the last one is very simple, video rendering quality, best. We're not doing a 3D project, so we leave that alone. And now, before we finish, before you click that OK button, we're going to come up to the top and put in a custom name. Okay, so I've got 1080p custom rendering template 1, okay? And what you need to do is click that floppy, okay? You click it, click it, click it, okay? Don't scroll on your mouse, guide it, okay? So you click that and you save it, and what this means is you're gonna click OK. Now every time you come back to WMV and you want to render it with these settings, you scroll down and bam, 1080p custom rendering template numero unos is right there. You don't need to go into all those templates, change all the settings every time. Simply save it like that and bam, you know you're done, that simple. And all you have to do now is put in a little name. I'm gonna say test file, uh, render. Uh, TT that loop not TT, TT, okay and then all you have to do is simply click that render button now in other versions of Vegas this little window here will look a small bit different but don't fret all the settings are the exact same and um, should work perfectly so that's it you simply click render and your computer starts rendering now I'm going to cancel mine because I don't need that to render out it's simply an example but you leave it render out and just take note that your rendering time will depend on the size of your video project also all of the effects transitions etc in your video project and it's also going to depend on the um, how powerful your computer is and if you want my tips for rendering I have a video on that uh, I'll link that in the description basically how to reduce your rendering times and increase your overall performance of Vegas Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this gets to you safely and I don't have to re-record it like five times as I usually do because I'm an idiot. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Mark here from obviouslytech.com and youtube.com slash techytutorials. Slap you in the face and um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.